Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video inspired by my really good friend that at the end of the gym session we were sitting and talking and he said, hey man, I'm so hungry. And I'm thinking, well, it's not good to be hungry. And it's not normal for us to be hungry, especially when we have quality of food all around us. So this video to help people to be less hungry, more satisfied. And when you're less hungry, you may not believe, but you have more energy for everything that you do in your life. So let's start from the beginning. First of all, to be less hungry, I suggest to eat two to four hours before going to sleep sleep is very important for many processes in the body including the digestive system and if you don't want to overwhelm your digestive system you need to eat uh, two to four hours before going to bed but that's not what make you not hungry in the morning when we wake up in the morning it's natural to be hungry and the reason for that is the way we're going to sleep, there's a lot of hormone called melatonin in the body and in the morning the hormone cortisol start injecting in the, morning, in the morning into body and melatonin and cortisol cannot coexist together. So what happens when cortisol gets in prevalent in the system and pushes melatonin out, you wake up. What happens when you got cortisol in the system? It spike blood sugar through process called gluconeogenesis. It's literally from Latin say, creation of a new glucose. So whether you eaten before going to sleep or you eaten long time ago, it's natural to wake up hungry, and that's the result of cortisol uh, cortisol injection as a hormone in the body. The best thing you can do to suppress that and start your morning and actually not drink coffee. The first thing I suggest to do is take a shot of apple cider vinegar. And if you cannot stomach apple cider vinegar in a clear form, uh, drink water with apple cider vinegar or after. The apple cider vinegar um, should be with pulp, which is in a technical term called mother. So when you buy apple cider vinegar, uh, it's a apple cider vinegar and pasteurized and filtered with mother. And it's important exactly that. I'll put down below the description of apple cider vinegar that I buy and recommend to everyone um, around me. But apple cider vinegar is how you should start your morning with. So you're prepping your digestive system, you're suppressing your blood sugar levels. And guess what? When your blood sugar levels are low but stable, in the morning you wake up in a fasted state if you're metabolically healthy your body will start producing ketone bodies and that means that you will tap into internal storage and your brain will get signal that no need for food i have enough in me if you start your morning with coffee or snack guess what will happen Coffee will excite your adrenal systems and um, make you hungry after initial shot of um, stimulant, right? If you start with snack, snack is probably the worst thing that you can do in the morning because you will spike uh, sugar levels because it doesn't matter what is snack, if it's not fat, if there's a uh, protein or um, carbohydrates, it will spike insulin, it will get your uh, spike glucose and spike insulin as a hormone and um, increase your level of hunger sooner or later. What I would do, what I actually do, and I recorded the recently video on my morning, of my morning routine, wake up in the morning, uh, brush your teeth or whatever you do, have a shot of apple cider vinegar, start your routine and within half an hour create morning coffee. I do my morning coffee as a pre-workout so at the uh, uh, cayenne paper and uh, and salt because that's what needed for my workout but in a nutshell if you would like if you have time between 
you're waking up and you're doing something have apple cider vinegar almost immediately after wake up wait for half an hour to an hour have your coffee and if you're metabolically healthy you should start producing ketone bodies everything should be fine if you're getting your health back and you're metabolically not as flexible um, have a half teaspoon to teaspoon of mct oil mct oil it's a, a saturated fat oil with medium chain triglycerides it's between six to ten carbon atoms in it if you can find mct oil with eight chain triglycerides it's even better so add mct oil to your coffee no sugar no milk just black coffee and mct oil what that will do it will induce ketone body production in your body and force them to flush out and, and support your system as it oxidize your fat storages and create energy from them and you will see um, you know after a while probably after a couple of days or week after starting that routine you may even start skipping breakfast don't snack at all have between one to two meals a day and practice intermittent fasting or if you wish intermittent eating that will help you a lot just remember it took your time to get to the point when you're hungry all the time it will take your time to become metabolically healthy and adapt don't panic if you try what I'm suggesting here and it doesn't work first morning trust me after a couple of mornings you'll be surprised how much more energy you have in your body without consuming any food and guess what as a side effect there will be some weight loss that is a leap to you because not everyone desires to lose weight i'm just trying to make people more metabolically flexible thank you so much for watching if you would like this video or any other video on my channel please hit subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos until next time greg from brisbane australia thank you for watching